The test that we're doing today is an ultimate first pressure test of our subscale soft goods habitat. What we're trying to really understand is can we fill it up with as much pressure as possible and see what the ultimate breaking strength of the entire system is going to be. Inflatable habitats have an incredible usage anywhere you want to put people. So anywhere there's a livable volume that you want to have people living um, or storing materials long term. Our burst units as well as the rest of our soft goods technology are all designed, manufactured, built and tested here on site at Lockheed Martin. This test is almost an exact replica of the first test we did. It's the same build, a different unit, uh, but we're taking it to the same operating conditions and then bursting it and seeing how they compare. When you're looking at metallic habitats versus inflatable habitats, one of the key drivers is our ability to actually pack down our inflatable habitat to a much smaller shape and size. The advantage of this is that you can actually fit a much larger habitable volume inside of a launch vehicle without having to have a launch vehicle that's massive. The Vectran material is a very similar material to Kevlar, which a lot of people are familiar with. It is better in terms of its creep resistance, which is the strain over time that can cause failure. So this test is just one step in an entire certification process to allow our habitat to be used in space and be lived in by astronauts. So what comes next in this process includes a full-scale burst test, so scaling this up and bursting it at the full scale that'll be flown at so that we can get an estimate of the lifetime of the habitat before we send it to space. The best part of this was that we ended up right within our predicted pressure range, which is super exciting for us, helps us continue to show that repeatability of our processes, the repeatability of our testing. So really excited about this result. Just seeing that burst within that range was, was a good feeling.